Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now celebrating 17 years of broadcasting success, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode of Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again, both for our radio audience tuning in in the South, as well as us tuning in through our friends at Our Heart Radio. We're glad you all could join us as well. Well, a lot of us have had to make changes this year when it comes to not only our home life, but also our work life as well. Sometimes the two are kind of merging together. And one of the things that definitely has been discovered is that people are having a hard time being productive, but also being able to carve out that time they need to be able to do the work they want to get done, as well as, of course, to stay connected along the way as well. We're excited to welcome to our program today lifestyle and tech expert Jessica Naziri. She's going to share with us some great tips to help you guys not only to be more productive from home, but also how you guys can stay connected and take care of yourself in the process. Jessica, welcome to the program. Hi, thanks for having me. Oh, glad to do it. So, Jessica, a lot of people are having to, to balance things a little bit differently, especially now with working from home. You've been able to give some great tips, especially for moms and for those college students out there. What are some of the things that you normally tell them about ways that they can revamp their routine to increase their productivity? Yeah, absolutely. These are unprecedented times for all of us. It's really, really new. So we really need to ask ourselves, when are we the most productive? Do you work better in the morning, in the afternoon, or at night? You know, I'm a mom, so for me, it's early in the morning before everyone wakes up. I like to have some sort of routine to structure my day. I know when I'm the most effective. So first thing I do is I wake up, hit the gym, then get straight to work. So this is something that I also recommend asking yourself and just be honest with yourself. Another really important thing is to have boundaries. When you're working, make sure you're working. Whenever you're actually off, make sure you're off and not checking emails. I also really recommend doing the important things first so that way you can make sure you check off the important things and then get on to the unimportant things in the day. And a virtual assistant helps me do that. That way I delegate the tasks that I don't necessarily need to do, like making reservations, data entry, sometimes emails, um, and it really makes a big difference. Well, I think that is a great tip, uh, Jessica. I think re- regardless of you know whether we're talking about trying to find that balance, but just for I think for all of us, I think you know being able to set those boundaries for ourselves when it comes to our time checking email and that kind of thing that can really get out of hand. I think that's a great tip. One of the things I noticed when I was prepping for your segment, Jessica, is that uh, you're really big on having a designated place to work. And why is that so important? And how does that kind of help to be more productive, being able to have a designated workspace? Absolutely. Having a designated workspace helps you boost productivity. That way you have no distractions. You're not turning on the TV. You know, like work time is work time. And when you have all the essentials like the tech and the ergonomics, it makes the space comfortable and more conducive to an environment to get things done. So something I really recommend to help with posture is a standing desk. This really helps your energy and productivity, and it will definitely help your back in the long run. But if you don't have the space or don't really want to invest in a new desk or office chair, another another thing that you can do is a seat cu- seat cushion. Um, other mm-hmm. cost savvy options include a laptop stand to help you adjust the height, the angle of your work surface, a floor mat to make sure you have good posture during these really long hours, and something I can't live without because my house gets so noisy is noise canceling <laughs> headphones. Wow. Well, I, I should say, too, Jessica, as we were talk, talking about this, and uh, my producer just reminded me I mispronounced your last name. It's Naziri. Uh, so I apologize for that, Jessica. <laughs> but, no uh, I, I, you know, no I, worries. Yeah, okay, I'm used yeah, to it. <laughs> Well, look, I think another thing is, you know, I'm I'm a natural loner, Jessica, so I have not been impacted as much since I'm not traveling these days, I haven't been, been for the past seven months, but thankfully I've been able to do the majority of my, my work with the stations from home. Not everyone, of course, has been able to deal with things so easily, so the isolation is definitely one of those things that has gotten to people. What are some ways that you've been able to help Jessica uh, to stay connected, not only with their friends, but also with their colleagues and family? Yeah, you're right. You know, loneliness can really creep in. There's only so much time you can spend by yourself. There's even studies that show 
uh, productivity during these hours to help you maintain if you want to be productive, you need to have some sort of social connection. So something I really recommend, something I've been doing myself, is setting aside maybe an hour a day or maybe two hours a week to just check in. Check in with your work friends, check in with your non-work friends, family, colleagues. It's like a virtual water cooler, and there's so many ways you can do it. There's Zoom, there's FaceTime, or even good old just picking up your phone and calling someone. Mm. Wow, such a great thing. Well, a lot of the things we've been talking about today has been about work, but of course, a lot of us, regardless of whether we're working or playing, we're spending a lot of time with our screens, right, these days, whether we're talking about tablets or phones, laptops. So that, that definitely makes us think about our eyes, Jessica. So I want to talk about that. I mean, what are some of the tips you have about avoiding eye strain so that we're making sure that we are not only staying safe, but also protecting our eyes in the process? You're right. I mean, I myself have been spending about seven to eight hours a day. So it's really important to not only take breaks, but to get up, make sure you close your laptop. But something you'll notice, even when you do this, something called digital eye strain. I'm not sure if you've heard of it, but this is really common. And actually, 70% of adults experience what is called digital eye strain. It's eye tiredness, eye dryness. And recently, I actually discovered... Supervision Biofinity Energist contact lenses. These contact lenses have made such a big difference for me. Not only has it helped my digital eye stream, but also corrects blurry vision. So that way you can easily shift from online to offline activities without the strain. And it's been such a difference for me during coronavirus. You know, it's just you're tired and sometimes you think, oh, there's nothing that you can do about it, but there is something that you can do. Wow. Such great tips, and we're so glad that you could join us today, Jessica, to talk to us about it. Again, we've had life, lifestyle and tech expert Jessica Naziri on with us, sharing some great tips to help you guys be not only productive from home, but also being able to be safe along the way. Jessica, where can our audience go for more information? Absolutely. So actually, I'm really excited because Biofinity Energist is actually giving away these contact lenses for free on their website at biofinityenergist.com. And you can also check out all these tips on my website at techsesh.co. Well, Jessica, congratulations to you again on all the success you've been able to have. And thank you for the work you're doing and informing us and making sure we have what we need. Looking forward to our next chat together. Likewise. All right. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live today. Let's make it a great one.